Hey guys, it's Fancy, and you're watching the Good Wives Network, and I'm giving you a sneak peek into our documentary that is coming up for 2025 called America's Sweetheart Schmurderers, Gypsy Rose and Nick. Um, so in that document documentary, we will be showing all kinds of the behind the scenes stuff that we went through to discover the truth of what really happened with Gypsy Rose, Dee Dee Blanchard, and Nicholas Godijohn. Now, in 2011, Gypsy was diagnosed with the 1Q21 promo. You know what? Since TikTok doesn't like us using actual words, weird TikTok. Anyway, um, Gypsy was seen by Dr. Le Pichon twice in 2011, and I found something in the record dated 3-2-2011. I'm going to show that to you in a second. So Gypsy and Christy both claim that Dee Dee doctor shopped, um, but throughout her entire medical records and history, that is not the case. What is the case is that wherever Dee Dee moved, she would find her group of doctors. Those doctors would treat Gypsy for years on end, and if she moved again, then obviously she'd have to find new doctors. That's pretty normal. She wasn't just taking her to countless, countless doctors. Anyway, Gypsy also claims all the way up until the unaliving of her mama that Dee Dee was still dragging her to countless doctors. And But according to this report, Dee Dee was no longer seeking out diagnoses. And we know that from 2011 to 2015, there ain't a whole lot in her files, folks, but let me show this to you real quick because I found this very interesting. If you look right here, now you see that is 3-2-2011, okay? If you look right here, read this actual paragraph right here, okay? Gypsy is a 17-year-old young lady with a complicated medical history. She was much older than 17, but that's okay. Including muscular dystrophy, fraud, not treated, but fraud, of unknown etiology, generalized epilepsy of unknown etiology, history of a Cernix at C7 and C8. Yeah, folks, that's lesions on her spine, and yep, she actually has them. Seen the freaking um, x-rays. Anyway, and, and flaccid dysplasia. In the past, I had been interested in working her up for her disorder. However, we were not able to obtain the records from Louisiana, Funny, because the referring doctor had those records from 2005. Dr. Steele, care to explain? Anyway, and the mother has had considerable difficulty in getting to Kansas City. Dee Dee was really getting sick. Dee Dee was declining in health. She couldn't drive all the time. She couldn't make these trips. And she wasn't just dragging her everywhere. Now, there were things that they were going to, they had planned, such as a trip to Florida for a charity function in June that they never made, got to in 2015. But they sure did raise money for it. And I'm wondering if that was the money in the safe. Hmm. It was posted on G Gypsy's Snow Gypsy account all about it. And she even talked about Dr. Le Pichon. We posted that video before for you, just so you can go check it out. It's on our YouTube or Facebook. So this last sentence though, is the most important. She is happy with the fact that Gypsy remains stable. Stable. Now, if you look down here in the document that we've posted other places, this is when the Dr. Le Pichon goes ahead and orders the microwave and the karyotype that eventually identify the disorder that she has that's causing all of these erroneous uh, issues. And that is the exact reason why she wanted to run it, because there were just so many erroneous issues, and she felt that there might have been a rare disorder that could explain all of those things. She runs those on both Dee Dee and Gypsy, and in September, I believe, of 2011, they return for a follow-up visit, and that is when the chromo disorder is proven, and they also state that Dee Dee does not carry it, and Rod could not be tested. Now from 2011 on, Gypsy was only seen for continuing normal care with just a handful of doctors and providers. So that would be Dr. Le Pichon, Dr. Beckerman, Dr. Steele, and of course her dentist, because we all know she got effed up teeth, okay? Not from chemo, by the way, but effed up teeth. From the thing that you have. Interesting. So I want you guys to keep this on your minds, okay? Fraud, not abuse, fraud. 
And it wasn't even medical fraud on Dee Dee's part because that was the doctors putting those things in there and they continued to chart it despite the fact that they had the confirmation that it wasn't true. In 2001, 2000, in 2000 and 2001, muscular dystrophy was completely ruled out and all the doctors in Missouri would have had access to that if they'd looked at her files. Dr. Steele got him in 2005, one month after she landed after Katrina. He knew exactly what was going on. Dr. Steele, again, Care to explain why you said on prison confessions that you'd never seen those documents? I have proof that you have. Anyway, fraud, not abuse. And even Gypsy herself told you that on the stand under oath when she said it was all for financial gain. There's a story there. Have a good one from The Good Wives, serving up true crime one dish at a time.